Bergman, so they made those movies very seriously. Uh, so it was some kind of big movies, it took three months to, to, uh, to make those movies. And uh, I, I act against the biggest actress in Sweden. It, and, and it was strange. And uh, this area lasted for about three or four years. And um, after those years, the, uh, those kind of movies went out to be more pornographic. And uh, I was down, for example, in Germany making a movie called Flossy. And uh, after a week, uh, the, it's a, a funny, the director to that movie was this, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, he made this um, very famous... Uh, Deep Throat. Deep Throat. Deep Throat. Yes, Gerard exactly. <laughs> it was him. So, so um, I, I was a little bit confused. Uh, it was in Berlin. And we made scenes for one week, and um, it was, you know, it, it, it's no discussion. But, but nice scenes, and it went out very well. And he was, he was a kind man. I, I thought he was okay, but I didn't know that he was the man he was. <laughs> I heard it afterwards. But uh, after a while, we lived on the same hotel. He um, came to me. He was sitting in the bar and said, "Hello, Christina." I think uh, the things you did went out very, very well. But uh, I have to tell you that they are shooting porno uh, scenes in the, in the, uh, during the nights. And they are going to put, as they have done in Trailer, for example, they are going to put those scenes into this movie. And um, he said, uh, well, I think the thing you done was very nice but I advise you to go home, because this is not the movie for you. It's going to be very rough, because I'm going to leave, he said. I'm going to leave this. I, it, that wasn't the movie uh, we had talked about. Uh, so, so in that, that way, he was very honest. I, I mean, it was honest to me to tell me that. So I phoned my... Uh, some people in Stockholm, and I talked with uh, another girl who, who was on the movie and said, well, I, I, I'm going to leave, I, I'll go home. And uh, it, four o'clock in the morning, we went to the airport, and we were shivering, you know, <laughs> afraid of the people are you looked for us. And then we went to Stockholm. So, so that's the last big movies. I, 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 it was 70... I think the last big movie uh, I didn't do. <laughs> Is it true that you got cast in these movies shot overseas and in other countries by doing promotional work for the other films you were in? Is that how you ended up in films shot in Germany and Japan? Uh, how, I don't. Uh, how do you mean? Did you end up in movies shot in Germany and Japan because you had traveled to those countries to promote other work of yours? Yeah, uh, so in Japan, I was, uh, I was, for example, down at the, the Cannes Festival. It's, it's a big uh, event in, in Europe. Uh, and uh, then the pictures get all over the world and so on, and even in Japan, of course. Uh, and um, because of that, I got uh, those uh, movie parts that I made later on in Japan. I made two movies in Japan. So, yeah. Well, of course, Sex and Fury is one of the wilder movies that you're in that many of us have seen. What was that experience like working on that film? Well, I, I thought uh, Japan was a very nice uh, country to work in because, you know, I'm small and I'm, I'm rather shy. <laughs> and I was more shy at that time also. You can't believe it because I took off my clothes all the time. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you know, they, they like to look at people, you know, like this. <laughs> so uh, I came along very well with Japanese people, but uh, they work, you know, all, they work 24 hours uh, all the time, all the time. So after a while, you know, they t I was uh, acting during the days and they went to, to doing fold outs, jobs in the evening. And then I go to TV shows. I have to tell them, hello, 
In Sweden, we work eight hours a day. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they understood, but uh, I got some more sleep after that. <laughs> But uh, uh, after uh, then, I, I worked for this uh, toy company. It was uh, at that time the biggest um, company in Japan, and um, uh, I made those two movies. And then they asked me if uh, they said, "Hello, you, you, do you want to work for us? You can, you can do that. You can stay in Japan, and we need actors all the time because they made movies li like in old Hollywood, you know." And it was nice because people were nice, they did everything to me, you know, so I didn't have to move, <laughs> almost. But uh, then I got a call from Sweden and uh, I thought it was a lot of work to be in Japan, so I said uh, yes, thank you to do this movie, Anita. I don't know if you know that one. Yeah, yeah okay. So I, w I went home to Sweden to, to have a rest. <laughs> uh, and, and that, yeah. But uh, I could stay in Japan, but I didn't. <laughs> Did you have any language barrier problems while you were in Japan? Working yes, at the, that time it was around 71. Uh, people almost didn't talk any, any English. And I, I, I wasn't... The uh, uh, toy company had, had its, its uh, Japanese Hollywood in, in Kyoto. It's, uh, it's the second city down in Japan. So... Um, People, people didn't talk English at all, so just a few of them. But, uh, well, it, it worked. <laughs> you did uh, two films for American director Joe Sarno, yeah. which a lot of people know because they've seen Swedish Wildcats, it was called here, and Young Playthings. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit what, what it was like working with uh, Sarno? Yeah, Sarno, uh, to be honest, I, I do not remember his... Uh, movies so very much I, I i don't and i don't remember the movies there must be something strange about it <laughs> i can't explain why but he 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 is a very kind man uh, i think he's a fighter pilot isn't it uh, he was at one time he he's, he's actually still alive and kicking in new york he's in his 80s now and i did yeah. contact him and tell him you were coming and invited him to this show but he just kind of cranky and didn't want to travel, so. Okay. But, but he did tell me to tell you hello. <laughs> oh, say hello to him also. I will but next I, time I, I talk to him. I will. He he used to go to Sweden every summer. Yeah, and they, the movies were shot there, weren't they? they yeah, went, yeah, yeah. He went there to shoot yes. the films. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, always in Sweden, mm -hmm. so it was yeah. And I think he has a small apartment outside Stockholm. Oh, he might still go back and forth yeah. to this day. I know yeah, he I loves, think so. I know he loves Sweden. Yeah, He's I know. He talks about it a lot. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you um, when you did Love in 3D, was there an awareness that it was a 3D film? Did that have any special considerations on the set? When they, when they did this uh, movie? Yes. No, no, it was an ordinary, uh, yeah, nothing special. Did you ever go see it in 3D? No. No. <laughs> I, to be honest, I haven't seen them. <laughs> how, how many of, how many of your movies have you watched? Pardon? How many have of your movies many have you seen? Films over the years? How many, how many of your movies have you seen? <laughs> have you seen many of your movies? <laughs> Some of them, most of them. <laughs> yeah. A lot of uh, actors and actresses don't watch them. No, but it's true. Uh, it, 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 sometimes it's, uh, it's uh, scary to look at yourself on film. And some of those movies that some of you have seen now, I suppose, uh, I have seen just for a few years ago. That, to be true, you know, you wow. won't dare to look at yourself. It's scary. <laughs> your, um, your scene in Schoolgirls Report 4 is one of the weirder scenes in any of your films, at is least of true? the ones I've seen. With, um, with you in love with your brother, and suddenly there's nuns being shot and all that craziness. Um, I'm, I, I do not remember. How can you not remember? <laughs> how can you not remember such a strange scene? You know, to save yourself. You, you forget. Do you have any stories from the set of Exposed? Um, I remember some of it. I do. Well, that wasn't none of it. Can you share a story from that set? If I can tell the story? Sure, sure. So. Is it a story? <laughs> Do you have a story from that set? 
Uh, how do you mean then? Uh, do you have a memory from that set? Yes. Something you want to share? Yes, I, I, of course I remember some of the scenes uh, because some of the scenes are very special. For example, the scene in, in the bed 